everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Megan and if you are new here please be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it so that you're notified of my videos I post three times a week on Sundays Tuesdays and Fridays at 9 a.m. Eastern so be sure to hit that bell so you are notified about those videos as soon as they go up so today I'm talking about being single and pregnant. Now, obviously, I wouldn't have been pregnant if I wasn't in some sort of relationship at some point. But a lot of people look at you funny. They look down on you when you are single and pregnant. I have this to say about that. If you see someone, or you know someone, or you hear of someone that is pregnant and they are single, do not immediately scowl at them or judge them without knowing their circumstance. They could be an abuse victim that got away. That was me. I was the abuse victim that got away and I was pregnant and I was single and I was lost because I was 19 years old, had no idea what was going on with my body or what was going to come in the future. I didn't want kids of my own. So to be suddenly carrying one, it was without question that I was going to raise this baby but it took a lot for me to grow and be able to fully comprehend what that took. In the meantime, during the pregnancy, I had two pregnancies where I was single. And let me tell you, the first one, I got stares, I got looks, partially because I was so young, because I was 19. And people look at you like, how did you get pregnant so young? Why would you allow that to happen to yourself? There's people that look down on you as soon as you say that you're single because, oh, well, he must have walked away from you. No, folks, I walked away because it was what was best for me and my child. And you really need to think about what could possibly have happened that a mother is single while she's pregnant? A million things could have happened. She could have had her significant other pass away for whatever reason. Maybe he was in the military. Maybe he just was not good for her. Maybe she was in an abusive relationship and she got away. There could be a million different circumstances as to why a person would be single and pregnant. It is not our job to judge them, but rather to lift them up and make them feel like they aren't alone. Because let me tell you, being single and pregnant is hard. It is scary. And yeah, you're doing things like going to doctor's appointments and ultrasounds and picking out baby names and cribs and all of the things that go with a baby. And those things keep your mind busy, but you're doing them alone. And never once did I stop and think beforehand that I would be single and pregnant. Obviously, no one really plans for that. You know, maybe some people in today's society do plan for that. They plan to have a baby even without a partner. They go through in vitro, which is an excruciating process in itself. I've never been there, but I've had friends and colleagues who have, and I feel for you ladies that go through that. It is a process and it is taxing on your emotions. And I, I commend you for doing that to be able to bring a child into this world. So what do we do when we have someone who is judging us for being pregnant and single? I'll tell you what you do. 
you walk away with your head held high, knowing that you are doing everything you need to be doing for yourself and for your unborn child. You are doing an incredible job for your baby. And it does not matter whether there is another person standing beside you with this baby. You've got this, Mama. I promise you, it will get better. And you will not always be single unless you choose to be. But the stigma around being pregnant and single, the looks, the stares, the whispers, the comments, they're uncalled for and unnecessary and destructive. We need to learn to build each other up in those times of need, not down. Do not crush a woman just because she is carrying a child and does not have a partner beside her. It is her choice to do so. And even if it wasn't her choice to be single, she is amazing for keeping up with herself and her child and for doing everything she needs to, to make sure that they're both well taken care of and healthy. And yes, sometimes that may mean that a person is on some sort of assistance, especially during pregnancy, because you may not be able to work as hard, work as many hours, be on your feet as much, depending on your pregnancy. Some people may be able to carry a pregnancy and two or three jobs, pregnancy and school and a full-time job, and I commend you, ladies, for doing that. It is incredible what you are doing for yourself and your baby. Don't let anybody bring you down for doing what you need to do. Just remember, there is no such thing as a cookie cutter life. If you are pregnant and single, let me know about it down below. Or if you've had a pregnancy while you were single, Comment down below. Tell me your story. I want to hear it. Tell me some of the stares or, or comments that you've gotten. I want to hear those too. And know that you are loved and that you have this community wrapped around you and that I am willing to rally around you and make you feel loved. That is what you deserve. Take care, everybody.